Good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. Here I am sitting in the back of my property at the sort of just in the cornfield a little bit to get a little shelter from the rain. It's raining this morning and I had a crazy week this week. I had more funerals this week than there are days of the week. And one of those was for a relative, my mom's cousin. And as I met with the kids and the grandkids and they shared those great stories about their mom, those fun times, those happy times, I asked the grandkids if they had a story about their grandmother that they wanted to share. And they said one of their favorite memories is they were actually living in England. Um, their dad was stationed in the military there and their mom, their grandma would go and buy Happy Meals probably for a long time. And she would save all of the treats inside. And when the time came, she shipped a box to England and they got all these Happy Meals surprises. So this week, my mom also had surgery. And when surgery was over, she says, I got to feed your dad. And I was like, Dad's a big boy. He, someone else could feed him. And she insisted. So she said, let's go to McDonald's. She wanted to get him a Happy Meal. So we went and we got Happy Meals. And it was just the day after my cousin's kids had mentioned that the thing about the Happy Meal prizes. So I took the box and I kept some of the prizes and actually all of them and gave them to them the afternoon after the funeral. But I was thinking about the Happy Meal and it's sort of like life. It's, we all want to be happy. We all need nourishment. We all want something for a cheap price. And that's exactly what you get with a Happy Meal. There's always a little bit of food. This one had six chicken McNuggets in it. This one had the economy fries. But this one had a prize in it of a bucket. And in the bucket was a little shovel and a little rake. And just like the Happy Meal, it's sort of like life. We all are living it. Sometimes we think that we dig ourselves into a hole and sometimes we don't have a little shovel to dig our way out. And that led me to be thinking about the little boy who, when Jesus was meeting and there were thousands of people and a boy came with five loaves and two fishes in his basket. One basket, two fish, five loaves of barley bread. And Jesus fed the multitudes. And I think that that's how we need to be right now, that we don't have much. We don't have many choices right now. But God can still feed us. And we can get fed every day if we just look around us and we see the beauty that surrounds us, surrounds us. Mosquitoes biting me again. I'm gonna sing three songs today. And the first one is For the Beauty of the Earth. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the sky, fields and mountains, fields and floods, over and around us lies. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Another hymn I want to sing is called Victory in Jesus, because there is victory in our faith and in Jesus. I heard an old, old story, how a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, 
of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sin and won the victory. O oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior, forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. You could also end that with beneath the cleansing flood, of which I'm getting drenched, but it's worth it for you. The last song I'm going to sing, um, for those of you that have asked this week, how did it go Sunday? I think it went good. Um, they are voting on August 16th. It's a process. I speak. They have to discuss it for two weeks. It has to be noted in the bulletin, and then they vote. So I will keep you posted on that, but I think everything's looking very positive. All week this past week, I have been thinking about a song that it's like, why God me? I said I never was going, would, I just wasn't interested. I actually didn't think he could use me. And the song that a group I used to sing with in the, I think it was 79 to 81, it was called, I believe it was called Faith Alive. We sang this song called Ordinary People. And it sort of ties in the five loaves, two fish, and the happy meal. But it says God uses ordinary people. And he uses people just like you and me, if we'll just be open. So I'm going to conclude with that song and let you go on your day. Just ordinary people, God uses ordinary people. He uses people just like you and me who are willing to do as he commands. God uses people who will give him all. No matter how small your all may seem to you, because little becomes much when you place it in the master's hands. Oh, just like that little lad who gave Jesus all he had, how the multitude was fed with a fish and loaf of bread. What you have may not seem much, but when you yield it to the touch of the Master's loving hands, then you will understand how your life could never be the same. Just ordinary people just ordinary people, just like you and me. He can use us if we let him. So let him use you today to make someone happy, to give them a helping hand. It doesn't take much. It just takes a little, a little bit of love and a lot of faith. Have a good week.